have we just seen the high on the Bitcoin chart? And we are looking for a very large move to the downside and a full reversal of this uptrend. Or in fact, is this just a healthy pullback in a strong bull market? I'll be giving you my opinions, the trades I am looking to take next, looking at the data. Okay, so really analyzing this chart from what I would say is a factual information that's given to us. So I'm really going to go deep on the technical analysis, what I'm looking for next, and, you know, really assist you with the knowledge and insights that I have on these charts, uh, you know, and keep up that win rate that we've been looking at in recent past. So, you know, I've, I've been making my bias very clear for the past few months now, like long and chill, bullish, looking for higher. In the last video that I made for you all, I was bullish, looking for higher prices to come. And we come up to this next level of the zone of around, let's just say, $44,000. And we can see how we've come up to that level. Didn't act as perfect resistance, right? We kind of got above it, had it as support, back into resistance, back into support, loss of the level. Okay, so I wouldn't class this as like a perfect rejection. And that is why it's going to lean into my bias of what I'm looking at next. Just want to spend a few minutes really dissecting this bit of the chart for you. Uh, primarily, of course, with the, the downside that we saw a few days ago. That's what was on everybody's mind right now. So let me go through that and then, yeah, I'll explain why I have the bias and why I'm looking for the trades I am next. So yeah, really simply, we, of course, saw this first initial big move to the downside. I've already um, done a, a, you know, daily live streams for my uh, champions members, and I've done this for them explaining. Really simply, it was a case of having no support close by. So it was a large drop that we saw, but we had no levels here. There was no support to be found, and that isn't a surprise. It really wasn't. And the first thing we done was we saw this like 5% wick bounce to the upside. And for me, it was simple. Uh, I was waiting for a bigger drop into support yesterday. Didn't feel like opening a new long because really simply, we had this really large wick. Okay. And after that, the very common occurrence is this known as fill the wick. So like fill that inefficiency, get rid of those single prints. Okay. So yeah, I, you know, if we had seen a full blown reversal from here, then of course I'd have just simply missed the trade as I was not going to open long. So I wanted to see another drop as the day progressed, reaffirming that bias, still the same local plan, looking for lower on Bitcoin and not longing yet. So that was while we were then starting to make our way down and you know, the way where we got that bounce from was really simply from uh, filling the wick. So you saw on some exchanges, uh, wick fill, single prints fill. For example, if you look at the CME, uh, you also saw a swing failure pattern on the CME chart. Same on Coinbase, by the way, also a swing failure pattern. So you had a, a few different reasons down here of uh, why this bounce started to get underway and bringing us up to where we are uh, right now in the chart. So I hope that will make sense. And now I'd like to explain what, what I am looking at next then. So you can see, uh, you know, hopefully I've explained well enough there while we got this bounce going on yesterday, bringing us up to though locally another lower high. And this is where I love to exercise a skill <laughs> uh, that a lot of traders struggle with, and that is simply remaining patient. Okay, so I am in now a patient, a patient time where I know the next levels I'm looking to long the dip. And I would look too short if I get a strong rally to the upside. But where we are right now in the chart, I don't want to fire into a new trade. Okay, here trading at 42,200, we are, we've got the monthly VWAP coming in at around 42,100. Uh, so we got some big monthly levels slightly just above price action. We now have a too large of a stop loss on the long. So for me, what I'm doing is remaining patient. I do overall uh, remain bullish. So I, I am looking for higher prices, but I would like to long the dip on a, in it, what I would say, a, a bit of a larger dip to occur, uh, simply because you could say I'm greedy. I want to get into the best area possible for longs. And, and that could, of course, sometimes mean missing that long opportunity. But I'm going to wait patiently for the best opportunity, if given to me. And I know what would need to happen on the charts and the data given to me to say, okay, we're no longer hit those long lower by the dip targets. So I would love, and I do have levels prior to this. Of course, we could simply look for the same as we saw yesterday, but on Bybit, a swing failure pattern of, of the wick low, right? Moving down onto a big weekly naked point of control. But I'm, <laughs> you might call me greedy, but I would love to see this move coming down to around 
just below $37,000. We just got Confluence Galore around 37K, just a lot of strong levels building up there. And the lowest levels that we can be looking for is this around $33,000. So we got the bigger range value area low on the uh, range point of control. So I'm, I'm classing this, although we've moved out of this range, if you just pull the fixed range from everything over the past few weeks, you can see that's where our range point of control is. I'm not necessarily expecting a move down to here yet. I do got higher targets where I'm looking to long first. This is like our lowest uh, level of interest. If we lose that, I do believe it's, it's very bearish. But for now, yeah, if we can see a one-to-one -one occurring here. So one-to-one -one basically means I go, uh, uh, let's just view it as like an ABC correction if you follow Elliott Waves. So what we'd be looking at here is like a, a Fibonacci pull of this downwards first impulse, looking for this A to B, um, you know, conf confluence to give us an ABC, uh, followed by a one to one. And you can see that comes in around $38,000. So we got just some really strong confluence below us. If we can get this one to one, uh, really heading down towards 36.9. I got a very nice plan already laid out. I've given the exact long trade and the exact lines that I'd like to be followed. That's for the champions and the daily morning trading update. I've given the whole strong thought through plan of exactly what I'd like to see. Uh, for this YouTube update, I'm going to keep it a bit simple and just give you the general overview. And of course, if you want more, uh, you can get that <laughs> in the champions membership package, right? And just remind you, we cover not just Bitcoin, we also cover the stock market, futures, okay, altcoins, and just a shout out to Severin. If you followed along in our in our very long live stream from Black Friday, Severin actually gave this really lovely link trade setup. Of course, Severin is the altcoin master right now, and he is smashing those altcoin trades. And he gave this short setup on link. Anyone that followed along with that has sat in wonderful profits as you got the rejection he was looking for off of around $17. Really simply, exactly how he planned for uh, came to fruition, managing to lock in that short trade and, uh, you know, making very good profits on that. So where, whether you're here for Bitcoin, whether you're here for altcoins, whether you're here for the stock market going into futures, we got all of it for you in one place. And that is, of course, chartchampions.com. You get the trades. OK, but the main focus, as always, is the education. You can come in here and educate your full, yourself fully from beginner all the way up to master course. We got everything for you all in one stop shop. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with, with how that's gone. So, yeah, moving on then to you know, what we could be looking for in terms of short trade setups. Of course, I've kind of, I've already explained my bias. I am still uh, overall on the higher term time frame bullish. This for me is a pullback that I am looking to long the dip. And I know where the weakness would come in because I am aware as a trader, I'm, I am bullish and I am looking to long the dip, but I can recognize where this dip uh, of a healthy dip in a strong uptrend starts to actually turn into reversal territory with weakness on the chart. That's something that I gain from reviewing the order flow, reviewing, you know, support context as well as simple market structure theory. Okay, I'm binding this together to, you know, what I'd call make an informed decision. So my informed decision right now is I, I am bullish expecting higher. So naturally, I am more interested in longs. But again, I'm happy to see a larger dip here, which is going to scare a lot of people. But for me, I'd I'd remain with the plan that I have um, to, to long the dip. I'm not going to be scared on that. But recognizing that dip could turn into weakness where I could lose the long trade and have to look for, for shorts and just say, hey, I, I didn't take the short at the highest possible place, but I'm looking now to get involved. Uh, on some weakness. So my preferred scenario though naturally is a, is a dip that leading us to higher prices. So I've got, I've, you know, mentioned several times some really lovely resistances above us where I am extremely interested in taking short trades. Again, just as I'm interested to long the dip and my bias is bullish, I have to place caution thus with shorting these upper levels and I'm very much only going to take it based off of a bearish reaction. I have to have order flow confirmation. So this is fairly complex uh, for many traders, but for me, it's uh, 
you know, I've been doing this a long time, over a decade. So with that amount of time, you you, you gain, you get a, a lot of, uh, let's just say confidence in those types of setups. So I'm going to remain cautious if we come up here, but absolutely I've got a plan, uh, you know, to, to look to hedge at these levels at the very least. So we got this monthly zone, uh, but bigger as always talking about that 40 set, $48,000 uh, up to really like $52,000 to be fair. Uh, it's a big zone uh, and that's why I got to monitor the reaction. But I just wanted to like make my bias clear uh, and the pullback, you know, I've seen a lot of people getting scared and fearful and, you know, the, the danger, danger, danger type moves and, and thought process coming out. So I, I like to just bring a little bit of clarity and I'm not here to say that I am, will be correct. I, I could be wrong on this, but, uh, you know, you're here and you follow along because my win rate is very high. It's, it's not often I get it wrong, but I do always acknowledge I can be wrong. This is trading. It is a game of probabilities. There are are no guarantees in the market and that's why risk management having a stop loss the invalidation is also key so if we do make an incorrect trade we're losing one percent we're not wiping ourselves out we're not getting liquidated we're coming in and we're looking for the next trade straight away to to make up and we're going for the long win rate over time that is what we teach at chart champions well, i always say it's not easy uh, but it is very much achievable if you put in that time and effort and i'd like to actually end with a little bit of a more personal note uh, that's some, that something that I would just, you know, maybe like to bring a, uh, attention to of things that I've been going through. And maybe some of you can also use this as inspiration. And, uh, you know, honestly, 2023 for me was the hardest year of my life. OK, I went through some very difficult stages, right? I went through a lot of anxiety, stress, depression, uh, you know, a lot of trauma. And I don't want to go into this video too much on the specifics of that. I, I can do that in another video. Um, but I went through a lot and it was really, really hard. And, uh, you know, I view this honestly like uh, like I view the charts, we're all in a, a bull and a bear market in real life. There's never continuous ups, there's never continuous downs. And I've already read through the comments and they, they mean a lot to me. And, uh, you know, I just want to say thank you for everybody that's sending these positive comments. Yeah. You know, just, just honestly, thank you ever so much for that. Um, but you know, for me, I can say, um, I genuinely and honestly feel I've overcome my hardships and I am looking forwards to, I think 2024 is going to be amazing. So, you know, I'm getting back into what I love this year with the things I've been going through. I haven't been trading as I should. I've had to dial down massively on position sizing. I've had to just really, you know, take care of my, my mental health. And for a lot of reasons, uh, also to do with security, I've, I've had to take some changes and it's, it's been really difficult. Um, so yeah, 2024 is a, a time now I've managed to manage my security. I've been able to manage my life and get things back on track. So yeah, for 2024, uh, well, really from here at the end of 2023, uh, this month I got everything in my life really sorted. So I, you know, it's quite not an announcement video, but I can say like, I feel like I am back. I'm back to where I was a few years ago. The last few years for me have been, have been difficult. I've just come up with so many different obstacles and challenges and, and not having the right mindset. I, I know I have to always hold myself responsible, even for the things that happened to me, like, I had the wrong mindset and the wrong attitudes and, you know, that had very negative consequences. Um, but I have overcome a lot. You know, I've been going through, um, yeah, just did, took things uh, in, a, in a good way. Uh, to bring positivity to everything and realize my mistakes, improve myself as a person. And now I can get back into what I love. And that is trading. That is having more of a leadership role once again in chart champions and, you know, just taking responsibility, uh, hyping up my team, getting everybody ready on the same page, sharing the vision and, and really realizing what we're here for at the end of the day. And that is a trading community, supporting each other and, you know, giving back to honestly change other people's lives through trading, giving you the education you deserve, showing you the steps, the process, the journey. And it's never easy. It's never, ever easy. There are going to be downtrends. There are going to be lots of losing trades along the way. But, uh, you know, I feel myself and the coaches and the rest of the team that you don't see day in, day out, we're all aligned and we're all got this really positive outcome uh, and outlook, sorry, for 2024, that we can come in here, support you all and really 
crush life and tr- and crush the charts like like what we're known for it's uh you know I've, as i said to my team in the live stream uh today for all the champions you know I've, i feel i've been able to hide my situation quite well not really make it public i'm not looking for sympathy or anything like that i've, I've been a very private about it but uh yeah it's good to also you know <laughs> let you guys know that <laughs> i'm not also perfect and i also <laughs> struggle with uh with things but you know i've managed to overcome that so i can also share the experiences and how i came through that if that if that's something you're interested in, you can leave a comment down below and uh yeah i just want to wrap it up there and say you know thank you massively to everybody it's uh, a joy and uh, really I have an extremely warm and, and positive, happy outlook of 2024. I feel it's going to be really positive and good. And, uh, you know, I want to show you that in my trading and in my charts. So I'm, I'm looking forward to get back to what I love. And uh, yeah, that is chart champions and trading. So, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to give you this video to let you know my thought process on the downturn. Uh, I'm not worried. I'm still bullish and looking to long the dip. And, you know, I've got my plans and my everything laid out that will lead me to making profits on this chart. I know that's what I want to do. I want to profit off this and get myself in a good position, a good trade to let run through 2024. So if you want to see the Pacifics, I share that in the Champions membership. Uh, for this video, it was more of an outlook and bias update. I hope you've enjoyed. You know where you can get me if you want more inside of the Discord via chartchampions.com where I am every day and the rest of the team, myself and the other coaches and everybody, daily live streams every day, live trading, basically everything that you need to become successful i'm not going to shill it anymore <laughs> the pro i'll let the I'll, i will really just let it speak for itself give us a go and you won't be disappointed that's all i'll say thank you ever so much everybody hope you've enjoyed and yeah that is me signing out here cheers thank you have a good one keep safe have a happy holiday uh but i'll see you before so cheers thank you and goodbye